Hello everyone, it's Nikki Batgirl, D'Angelo here for another Nikki Plays, and today we're back in Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. Now, after getting out of our wonderful time of dealing with Richter, it was time to try to go and find Orzo all the way over in Vegas, alright? So we had to go all the way to New Vegas, and let me tell you that when people said you need to upgrade your ship to leave the Texas system, they are right. This is a pirate frigate, and I've called Richter in to help me. He's trying to help me with it, and uh, essentially I had called him in just a little bit too late. So I, I've gotten into a couple of death loops inside of this game because I took a, I took a mission to run some goods all the way out to a system not too far from Texas. And it was going to give me like um, somewhere between two and three hundred thousand, which basically was going to give me enough. Just put me over being able to get a uh, new ship. But this is what kept happening. I kept dying, coming back to the screen and getting into this loop. Well, there's something in my life that kind of went on that happened that kept me away from gaming for a couple of weeks. I was actually gaming, but, you know, to... I, I was actually doing it through boot camp on my Mac Mini. I have a i7 8700K, I think it is, inside that Mac Mini with 64 gigs of RAM. It's my video editing box. It's not a game box. It was all right. I have an external graphic card on it, and that was all right. It wasn't perfect. It was okay. In fact, you may or may not see a recorded um, video from there. I'm not sure if I'm going to release it or re-edit it. But I'll, I'll give you the I'll give you the long or the short of it is, I started getting my 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 computer started overheating. All right, so I don't know why it was overheating. I ran some diagnostics. I looked at the fan speeds. I looked at the pump speed. Everything seemed to be okay. Everything seemed to be nominal. Everything is nominal. It's okay. We're all right here. And wow, let me just say that uh, when I opened it up and took a look inside of it, it seemed like my pump inside of my H110i was whirring. And that was scaring me because I had right pump speed. When I got a little bit closer, it was actually bouncing off the back of the case, which was a case fan. So it wasn't my pump, it was a case fan. I replaced the case fan. And I go to put the unit back together again. I line up my tempered glass panel perfectly well. For some stupid reason, my computer's on at the time. And out of nowhere, doesn't fall, doesn't hit the ground, doesn't do anything. As I'm screwing in the nut, and I never over torque them, I always make them not tight at all because I, I've read things about like what I'm about to tell you I've, I've read about them happening it blew up the the actual the actual tempered glass panel blew up I mean it was like making hissing noises and stuff too but I think that might have been inside the computer essentially it blew up with the computer on and I guess from the dust or, or the glass pieces, two of the fans on my H110i went. Oh my god, I, I was in hell. Alright, so I, I fixed this rather rapidly. I went to my Mac, I loaded boot camp, moved my windows over to that, and I was able to use that to do some gaming, but I didn't really want to... With the low frame rates I was getting on my uh, Mac Mini, I didn't want to re really record anything at that point. So I upgraded my motherboard and processor. Yeah, that has nothing to do with a fan or anything, right? And I went with the 3700X, and I went with the Asus Tough Gaming motherboard. All right, that's good. What does this have to do with Rebel Galaxy? I'm getting there. Remember I said I got into these, these death loops. I got everything installed I've built many PCs in my life and I turn it on and I get no video I have a 2080 that's inside there and it's got power the fans are running yeah one of my PCIe cables was cut 
by the explosion of glass. This is after I fixed everything. So I replace that. I bring it up. Everything seems to be working. And now my Windows activation isn't working. And it takes me a day and a half to get Microsoft to actually issue me an activation based on the fact that they said, and hear this one out, I upgraded my hardware and never associated my key with my login, so there was nothing they can do for me. I searched everywhere for my key everywhere, and finally, in the last place I looked, I found my key. Immediately associated it with my login, my Microsoft login, and now if I ever upgrade hardware again in the future, I don't have this issue. So that all comes in. Finally get everything back together again inside the system, turn it on, and now I have power, I have video, I have everything working, and when I get in, it says I don't have a 2080 in the system. I didn't realize I had to reload the driver when I updated the processor. Got that done. And then after everything's done, I'm looking inside the case and I realize my RGB fans are not working. This has just been hell. And I don't know why. And I, you know, it's one of those things where I just got into this loop of everything causing me more work to do inside of it. So that's essentially what this playthrough was. This play playthrough was me going through death loops, trying to complete a mission, trying to complete a mission, trying to complete a mission, and not getting it done. Hopefully you get an idea to see a lot of the cool things that are in this game. Well, anyway, we get all the way through everything. I finally finished that mission and find out something very peculiar. And that peculiar, peculiarity, oh my goodness, am I ever going to be able to speak again, is that the mission was anticlimactic. It took me so long to get here that I just felt like it was for naught. I mean, look at this. This mission, we had to come in here. We had to clear all these mines. I get down to one mine left, trying to find it, trying to find it. I actually find it. I've already updated my control scheme. I'm playing the game amazingly well. And I get over here and try to blow up this last mine, trying to make those yeah, I did it. I got it. I got it. It's done. Now I can go to Vegas and I can hand in the mission because I have enough money to buy the things I'm going to need to buy and get out of here. And wow, I was so excited. I was really excited. Kind of like when the box showed up for my brand new processor and motherboard. I haven't had an upgrade for two years when I put in the 7700K and usually that would be enough but when you're streaming and doing YouTube videos and intend on getting back into it full time again, things tend to have a negative effect on everything else around it. And all I have to say is this. I expected this to be a, a huge endeavor, the guy to be thanking you up and down. And then I realized he gave me the ship. This was the mission to pay for getting the ship. So all that work I did to get here was all part of it. So this is where I earned the ship. I've had the ship up until now, but this is where I get to make the payment on the ship by delivering this. And Orzo had some pretty incredible things to say. Like he knows me. He wants me to come back and have a drink. And I'll let you see that in just a moment. Let's go take a look at what Orzo has to say to us now. Juno, so wonderful to see you. My assistant tells me the package was delivered to our warehouse. I hope the ship is meeting your needs. Well, it got me to Nevada. Thanks again, Orzu. I trust things went smoothly. No bumps in the road. As Richard said, all's well that ends well, I guess. Good, good. It does my heart's good to observe you in the flesh again. The years have been kind. You haven't aged a day. Or zoo, you old smoothie. Come on, what's up? More to the point, what was in that package? 
Oh, just a thumb on the scale, as it were. The hospitality business here in Nevada is, well, let's say it is competitive. Some unsavory elements are taking liberties, and I'd like to curtail that. That package contains some equipment that I think may keep them in their own corner. Well, best of luck with that. So, not to sound ungrateful, but my request? Ah, yes, the information you asked for. I did a bit of digging, and while I came up empty on your man's location, I do have a lead on how to find him. Go on. There's a bounty hunter, goes by the name of Satchel. He operates out of the New Mexico system and is a known associate. That's not to say they're friends, but he's had recent contact and can probably set you on the right path. Whereabouts in New Mexico am I looking? I believe he favors the cantina on Hobbs. I certainly hope he can assist you. Thanks, Orzu. I appreciate it. Oh, and Juno, do stop by later. Now that you're back on the board again, it would be wonderful to catch up further when you're no longer indisposed. So it was after meeting Orso that the poop really got hitting the spinning device that spreads it all over the place. And I started trying to make a little bit more money, taking risky jobs, going, I've got this, I can make the best of it. What had happened is I had wandered into a part of space. This part of space has many, uh, how, how do you say, upgraded enemies. I was trying to get back to that bounty hunter, but a friend of mine said, you need to have a new ship before you do his mission. So my idea was to actually go and make the money so I could buy the ship when I get the mission. Well, things didn't happen that way. In fact, I got so frustrated, I didn't play the game for a bit because I had taken a mission I shouldn't have been able to. And I didn't know how to, well, I knew how to drop it. I didn't know how to get back from where I was. Every time I went through a gate, I was getting blown up by the same religious fanatics that were stopping me every time. And it took a little bit of effort on my part to learn exactly where the ships were going to come in. Well, that wasn't even on the table because every time something spawned it spawned in a different place and a different number of ships with at least two of these frigates these pirate frigates showing up to ruin my day i then realized that i do have backup i do have richter and richter was going to be my best chance for success so i started to call richter in and it took a little bit of finagling it took a little bit of learning to fight with what I had, and I finally got through and made my mission, only to realize they were giving me so much money because I needed to go and source the items, not just show up. And I just looked at myself like, oh my God, why didn't I read the text? I think a lot of the missions that you take today in different games with voiceover becoming more and more common. We don't read text as much as we used to, but this is a throwback to the days of old. So reading the text of missions is very important, something I should have done and something I really, 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 really needed to, uh, needed to make a habit in this game. And it's definitely something that will be portrayed in the future when I start playing this with um, in-game commentary. I've got to try my best to keep the games down to about 20 minutes, the videos, because at this point what I see is um, six hours of video where I'm talking for 20 minutes. And it was six hours of never-ending death loops because I had wandered too far into an area that I shouldn't have gone. But I've learned my lesson. I've also learned my lesson with my computer. Always, always, always bring it to a workspace to work on. Don't try to work on it where it is. And even though I, I can swear on my life that I didn't do anything to blow that case door up, it blew up. And even though I can swear it didn't say I had to source the cargo that I was moving from point A to point B, I had to source the cargo. And I didn't. And I failed because of it. So I am 
at a point now where I'm going to... I'm going to... Film some sequences and put them out for Rebel Galaxy of me getting the next ship. As soon as I get that ship, we're going to go over to our bounty hunter friend and run his mission with him. But we're going to need a pretty hefty duty ship to do that, which means not just getting a ship, but getting a ship and upgrading it. This is something that Freelancer did much better. It didn't give you missions until you had the required um, rank and ship to actually get the mission done. And I think that's something that Rebel Galaxy Outlaw could have copied. It, it would have made it a little bit more... Well, it would have made it a little bit more... I want approachable for people. Is that is that a good word for it? Well, I'll I'll think about the word for next time. Well, folks, I'm sorry there wasn't much more in this video. It is what it is. I I have learned a lot from playing this game. It is hysterical. It's funny. It's wonderful to play, and I love the throwback to days of old. And I can't wait to play it again with y'all. And I plan on doing one more episode, and then I want to stream it on Friday night, which will be tomorrow night, which will be the sixth of September and I want to stream it at 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. and hopefully you'll join me at twitch.tv forward slash star citizen AA. So if you like this video and you want to see more like it please click the thumbs up button. If you have any comments you have a comment section down below that you can put them in. Please put any hints that you have and any questions that you might have and just general comments. If you do subscribe please click on the notification icon. The notification icon will keep you notified of all my future videos. But that's not always true because YouTube has fixed their algorithm to not spam you. So if you really want to get notified of my future videos, you might want to just go out and, uh, well, you might want to go out and follow me on one of my social medias. So take a look in the video description and see my social media presence and see if you can find uh, it in you to follow me on Twitter because that's where I will talk about most of my videos in the future. Folks, with that said, you all be safe out there and I will talk to you soon. Bye.